द वर्ल्ड पिकल बॉल लीग ओन्ड बै नटेकर् स्पोर्ट्स एंड गेमिंग अनौंस्ड पापुलर आक्टर समंता ऋत् प्रभु ऐस दि ओनर आफ् द चेन्न फ्रांचाइज नोन फॉर् हर आक्टिंग स्किल समंता स्पोरे इन टू द वर्ल्ड पिकल बॉल लीग मार्क्स हर डेब्यू ऐस ए स्पोर्ट्स आंट्रप्रनोर ऐस द ओनर आफ् द चेन्न फ्रांचाइसी समंता विल प्ले अ पिवटल रोल इन शेपिंग द लीग्स फ्यूचर एंड प्रमोटिंग पिकल बॉल्स पापुलारीटी इन इंडिया her involvement underscores her commitment to india's evolving sports ecosystem with a particular focus on increasing women's participation as athletes as well as entrepreneurs gaurav natekar a former national tennis champion and owner of the world pickleball league said that the first season of the world pickle pickleball league will be held in january february 2025 and will feature Sixteens, pickleball is a racket sport invented in the U.S. in the 20th century, in the mid 20th century, and is a mix of tennis and table tennis with the racket slightly larger than the tennis uh, table tennis paddle, and the ball made of plastic but of a sturdier material and the size of a tennis ball. It is played indoors as well as outdoors, and with the courts resembling the smaller version of a tennis court no i think uh, obviously uh, you know me and rpl have started the league to make it as successful as as possible but i think one has to define success uh, i think i think for us our vision is uh, to obviously use uh, the world pickleball league as a platform uh, to have uh, you know the best players in the world come and play Uh, but also we have a three tier system where we are also looking at amateurs as well as most important is of course our juniors and sub juniors and i think a lot of people don't know but at the international level a lot of our players are winning a lot of international titles and that's not really coming to the forefront or in the media as yet and i think one of our main goals is that a child or a kid today who's 15 or 16 or 18 should be aspiring that in two or three years i need to get to a level when i will get a place on let's say the chennai team which is owned by samantha so that's that's the real uh, broad vision and for me that could also define success to be honest um, i'm no athlete the didn't play any competitive sport growing up was just another child in a middle class family where the focus was always on studies and never on sport that is why pickleball because pickleball is a sport that is not intimidating it is for everyone and even i at this age can pick up the sport without doubt or fear and i also think that at the heart of it i'm also motivated to look at sport with a keener eye because i want to be a part of the change that i wish to see i recently you know i've always been most people know this i've been very focused on health and uh, recently read this survey that said almost 45.4% of adult indians didn't fit the who standards of physical activity and that stat is really really scary and it's only going to get worse and so i really really wish for india to start moving and pickleball could be the way we all get moving normally i'm sitting with two legends in sport and it's just so inspiring um and but thank god that pickleball doesn't have any legends as yet so <laughs> we're all learning together <laughs> i see the popularity rise and um, i see it fit in really well with you know if, if women are playing if there is you know it's also you know gender agnostic it's uh, age agnostic so it's like something that the whole family can do together i i see it as really a bonding activity and i i think that that that's what is special about this this uh, particular sport is that we can all go from a sports loving nation to a sports play nation now <laughs> like i said we we love watching sports i love watching sports but i'm just so intimidated by it i'm i'm someone who who likes to pick up some something only if i know for sure that i'll be the best at it now which sport am i going to pick up if i pick up tennis there's no way i'm going to be as good as sanya if i pick up 
uh, badminton, no way as good as PV Sindhu. So I'd rather not even try. <laughs> Why try? <laughs> So I think that with Pickle World, that's what, it's an even playing field for everyone. Yep. Everyone's learning together and it's, it's, it's building a sense of community, it's um, building camaraderie and I think that's what is really, really um, inviting about this sport. You know, like Samantha said, uh, Pickle World doesn't really have um, any stars or any legends. And you know, why do we watch sport, right? Both, most of us watch sport because we either play it or because we have a player or an idol that we want to watch on TV. And uh, you know, that's really what we are going to do with the league, is pickleball is, uh, is at a stage where, you know, everybody knows that it's getting bigger and bigger. A lot of people are playing it across all strata. It's age agnostic, 40% <coughs> women play. So what we want to do to bring the existing fans, but a whole new generation of fans is to get them excited by not only pickleball, but what's happening around it. So it's going to be, you know, sportainment where there's going to be a lot of entertainment, uh, you know, music, uh, uh, content, films, art, fashion, all of that that's going to happen around the event. Of course, the focus will be on pickleball, but I think to get the larger public in India to come and watch and then experience and play pickleball, uh, you know, I believe that that's what is necessary and that's what we're going to do uh, with the WBBL. Yeah, uh, this is Krishnan, a sports journalist again. Just wanted to know how many teams are to be, uh, are, are, will be involved in this league and when is it starting? When and where will it be played? So we are looking at uh, six teams uh, in year one. Uh, the dates are Jan 24th to February 2nd, 2025. Um, in terms of the location, uh, I haven't really uh, decided. Um, I know that Samantha, <laughs> she's laughing. Yeah, she's laughing because I when I... You know, this yeah, she's laughing because the first time I met her, she said, you know, I won the first season in, in Chennai, come what may. Uh, you know, so we are open right now. Uh, um, I really don't know what the location will be. One thing is clear that we will be doing a single location based uh, uh, league uh, in the first couple of years at least because the whole caravan style requires a whole lot more funding, logistics and all of that and we want to focus on giving the best, best experience to really the three people that matter or the three people in the ecosystem which is the federation, which is the franchise owners and which is the players. Hi, uh, I think uh, Amir Khan because uh, I think Sir has already expressed his interest in this sport and um, yeah, why not? Dream big. Yeah. Thanks. So. I think uh, sports really has a big part to play in growth. I think people, it has a big part to play. I've seen it all around me that, you know, when you are into sports, you just have this kind of discipline, the resilience, you put in the hard work and um, this Always a sports person, you know, will, will stand out in a crowd. Well, Samantha is uh, one of the modern day Indian icons. She's popular among youngsters and women. Uh, and, and she just said that uh, she's very interested in getting uh, India to be fitter. So if that is uh, what the league is going to promote, we are promoting sport for all at the grassroots level. Uh, I think her presence is going to really motivate a lot of youngsters and women to take up sport, which will have, uh, which will make India a fitter and a healthier country. So I think uh, the league is going to go a long way in making a healthy India.